scenario. Yeah, all right. This is the fucking Would You Rather Dead Ass Serious Pod. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Here's a Scenario. I'm one of your hosts, Mike Cannon. With me, as always, it's Mike Feeney and also Brendan Sagalow. How are you guys? How's everything going? Are you talking to us or to the perspective? Quite a time delay there in Boston. Everybody. <laughs> Honestly, Feeney, you came in nine minutes yeah. late. I thought I, I wasn't sure what was happening. Yeah, yeah. I love when Feeney tries to fucking yeah. get me, but you're wrong, you <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah, it's your Wi-Fi, you Maybe jerk. my thing's on a delay, because I I was, I was responded in, in perfect order. No, and there was a six-minute gap between when I spoke and Brendan. Now, you had uh, you had Dave Chappelle joke weatherman timing. You went, <laughs> hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Bob. That was the name in the bit. Hi, Bob. Yeah. Well, for new <laughs> listeners, it's not about that. The podcast, this is a hypothetical based podcast. We do what if scenarios, would you rathers, you name it, all that type of fun, silly, goofy, escapist type stuff. None of the social or political nightmares that the outside world has to offer. This is pure fun, babes. So, uh, Thank you for listening. Thank you, Laugh Button, for having us. And uh, if you want more, if this episode tickles your uh, prostate just enough that you want even more, go to patreon.com slash scenario pod. We do an additional episode of this every single week. We do a bonus additional podcast that is not as structured and it's not about the hypotheticals. It's kind of more freewheeling and uh, very stony baloneyed. And uh I do a solo podcast. Feeney and Sags put their content up there. We put a bunch of video blogs up there. You name it. We're tossing a ton of stuff up there. So support if you dig the show. And uh, either way, let's get started. Yeah. And if you want your question asked on the show, then send a message to our Instagram or our Twitter or one of us or anything. Just yeah, just text us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know the number. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's been on two of my three podcasts. So, you know, if if, if you want it, real you can ass find podcasts. It. There's a real bunch. Ass po- yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of audio of me giving out my phone number. That's so <laughs> crazy. Dude. Yeah. It's actually I, I, yeah, harder to, drink to a not lot. hear. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you've had to patently ignore me over the last eight years to a, not it, have my number. It's a part of your plugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, follow me on Twitter. My number is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. Um, here's one. If you say you guys were single, if you kissed a married woman, would you tell her husband? Dude, I just drank an entire teaspoon of coffee grinds nice <laughs> i just like last bit of coffee i'm like all right this will get up. me jump started into this question i'm like <laughs> <laughs> quite the opposite it did the exact opposite <laughs> yeah <laughs> it stalled everything <laughs> um if i kissed the married i'm gonna woman, say no why would i ever do that yeah i mean that's how yeah. people get murdered yeah yeah it's, it's like, a weird thing because they're like they're basically asking would you be a good person and you're like well no i'm kissing a married person already so right. i'm already a bad person so there's well, no way to that- myself in but yeah. what if you found out they were married after then stop even, talking to them yeah so you, even do, you just cut them and let them deal with their own marriage Knowing me, i'd still be texting them on the side being like crazy <laughs> yeah, you totally would you'd be like so what's your husband think about the mistake we made yeah yeah never yeah. again by the way but also what's up saturday yeah yeah what's up saturday? just, <laughs> just no. mix mix signal sagalo yeah yeah <laughs> me toxic sagalo <laughs> sorry i can't help but notice you showed me even the slightest bit of attention um what, what's what uh, want to go steady want to go <laughs> steady it's hilarious um because that's the so there there's two ways to look at it is one you don't say anything right and you're totally within your rights to do so that's kind of their business if she didn't tell you that they were married beforehand like if you didn't assume the risk then fuck that it shouldn't be up to you Mm -hmm. to get the penalty but you're also like if you're leaving it up to her the hammer could drop at any point you know what I mean? So it, you you could just be uh, three years down the road and all of a sudden some dude shows up at your door and he's like, I heard what you did three summers ago. Yeah, And that, my friends, is why Mad Men, the show, especially um, when you invest in that series, is so rewarding and so nerve wracking and so like 
constant pit of butterflies because Don Draper, it just lives that like, yeah. you know, just fu- like, let's fuck now and worry about the consequence, like kick the yeah. can down the road style of living. And it's crazy the amount of affairs that he has both with <laughs> his, like against his wife and other married people. And it's like this thing where you're like... You fucking greedy son of a bitch. You had it all. What are you doing? You know, like it's so, it's so, you watch it like with a knot in your stomach, dude. Dude, I, I so I, I never cheated when I was younger, but I definitely was one of those guys that like, if we were on a break, I took that as a full opportunity to hook up with whoever I wanted. And also I would never tell. Yeah. <laughs> so it was totally cheating in my heart, but I was using the, mm. the loophole <laughs> and I, I took it as a personal challenge when somebody was like nobody has a good enough you know memory for all those lies i was like you wanna bet <laughs> i'd like you know i juggled like 17 secrets of chicks that i ho- that i hooked up with from my town while i was on breaks with my then girlfriend not oh now God. wife this was the separate girl but you're, yeah you're like don draper i was a very very immature rockland don draper yeah sure <laughs> yeah, he's he was brought. Uh, he, uh, Don Draper's from Ossining, so it's a little. You yeah. Know. Oh, he's across the river. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a totally wow. different thing. <laughs> but I will say that. So it, it that feeling is both like insane because you do like I don't know if Don felt even the slightest bit of anxiety about it. I didn't watch the show, but like living oh, it, with it builds up, hanging out with your chick and us and that name coming up. And then you just yeah. feel the icicle plunged into your, into your sternum and your well, whole body yeah. starts getting cold and you're like, what's about to happen? This sucks. Well, like, you know, mini spoiler, but not a spoiler if you still were ever going to watch the show, but there's a, there's a one arc of this show where he is having an affair with uh someone in his building in their like apartment building because they you know he lives in the city at this point and he's he's having an affair with somebody in his apartment building and he's already on like his second wife but he see and then like they come over for dinner as the the couple and then it's meanwhile it's like the two couples with like Ooh. one they're both sleeping with each other and they don't, ah it's all crazy it's so wow. crazy they have to do this thing where they just kind of like are dead faced but they oh man it's wild it's damn. wild dude damn and you never know like it's hot like Mike yeah. with your thing where you're like the name comes up you never know if they know and they're just trying to be like so uh, like it. you know like do you know the worst in. Do you know the worst thing I ever did? Uh, I had my again. This is not Nicole. This was my other girlfriend. She, uh, <laughs> Mick Cole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mike Cole. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you do to me? It's hilarious. <laughs> um, what? So I had her AOL uh, password, and I checked her email. And this was while we were on a break, and I was hooking up with other people. But I sensed that she also <laughs> was doing it. Yeah. And I read an email from a dude who I played basketball with er, against in high school and had like real just, you know, this classic high school like ego beef where everything, you know, any girl that looked at another guy, I just basically got slipped inside of. <laughs> you know, I love that it that it's like an email. I love that you're getting, you know, yeah. like yeah, no text over an email. So did that email find you well, huh? <laughs> no, Brendan, it's not a quill pen letter, you fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't is, know. I, were you were you was this happening before phones were around and text? No, people yeah. had phone, pho- email came out before phones, as we all know. I do right. know that. Yeah. yeah. Alexander Graham email. <laughs> Grand mail. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Let's go oh, but that so the so what I did, I read the thing and saw that they had like, you know, talked and were flirting and were discussing hanging out and then we were hanging out at our place and I was like, "Can I use your computer?" and I like, "Oops," opened AOL and saw the email and then called her out in person about it. <laughs> how much of a how much of a sociopath thing is that? Is I what pretended did she do? I mean, she apologized, cried. It was yeah. like a nightmare fight. But uh, it was like a total <laughs> a sociopathic fight. like thing where I snuck into her email and then like oopsie poopsied in front of her yeah. to try to pr- bring it up and like I- show her what I found. <laughs> Mike's like, babe, who's Jeeves? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of questions for him recently, huh? <laughs> yeah, a lot of call questions me, for just a friend. <laughs> call me Lisa Left Eye Cannon. <laughs> you set her fucking house on fire. 
Um, <laughs> speaking of women, if you could hear what women think, how would you use this ability? Would you tell anyone? <laughs> how could you possibly tell somebody and that would benefit you? I mean, you could you could tell somebody and get a job working for the government or something, become like a spy. They're like, yeah, we're also listening to them. Yeah, yeah you wouldn't want to get a job from <laughs> we the also government. You'd want to be, you'd want to be like, uh, like Hitch. You want to be like a personal like business where you fucking are paid for hire. Like, oh, that's your girl. Mm. Oh, right. she's cheating on you. That's you know? actually a good idea for a movie. A dude who can do that and is like Hitch, but he's such a drunk because it's such a pain to carry this ability. You know? Oh, it's <laughs> is like this your, Nolan's are, version of Hitch? Are you, yeah. Are, first of all, no. He's pitching us Mel Gibson's What Women Want. Oh is yeah, that, is that really what it is? <laughs> exactly what that. it is. He's an and ad he like, exec that like gets struck by lightning while in the tub, yeah. and then he can hear women's thoughts. And, but he becomes this like dark kind of like. I mean, you heard the recording. There's 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 no <laughs> less than there's no less than thirty films of. People who get to hear what other people think and are like, "What? How, is, I what's have going a on? Perspective like, and empathy yeah. for the opposite yeah. sex. Oh, that whole uh, thing that sucks. sucks. That sucks. Well, you pitched it. No, yeah. I pitched a dark, <laughs> gritty hitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Not your stupid idea Nemo. With, a, with a nice little turn at the end yeah. where everybody dark, learns. First something. of all, it wasn't my idea. It was a Mel Gibson movie in Whoa. the nineties. Dumb, dumb, dummy. Oh, if we're if we're pitching movies, you can't get too f- defensive here, Mikey. <laughs> I'm pitching you <laughs> a oh, project Mikey. that exists. <laughs> I hope you forget all your lines. I already have. I I already. Yeah, I know you're doing this podcast right before. What I I was saying, I'm excited about because Brendan. Bad. Brendan's. (laughs) Brendan's. uh, (laughs) This is the free episode, Brendan. Uh, Brendan's in. uh, Brendan's in Boston. He's he's shooting a he's shooting a a film, and uh, but he's he's you know we'll keep the rest of it secret or whatever. Bella, uh, well, is somebody you. messaging you something frantic because you look terrified? Bella. No, but uh, no, no, no. Come here. It's uh, so the 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 producer of the thing just sent me and one Uh-oh. of my uh, co-stars a, yeah. uh, a, a kissing a, guide, a text message that said, "Hey, you guys should take an Uber together." They're trying to save money, so they're like, "Hey, you guys should take an Uber together," and blah blah blah. And I'm like, Ugh, "I don't want to fucking." Do that. I will, but you know that was just a little annoyance, just a little peek into my world, a little peek I, into what goes on in this fucking haunted house. I love how that Brendan. That. Brendan is such an artist. He talks about being an artist all the time. It's all about the art. It's all about the process. It's all about being as authentic really in the moment as possible. Mm-hmm. It's his mm-hmm. first acting role ever, yep. and he's already against building chemistry with his co-star. Oh. <laughs> I already did. We talked. On, we talked. <laughs> I mean, this guy <laughs> yeah, they, I think you've mispronounced. You're mispronouncing narcissist, Mike. You keep saying artist. It's, it's Nar- pronounced nar- nar- artist. Narcissist. Artist. Me, 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 me. It really is. I was on the bus yesterday, going like, I am a full blown narcissist. I was just thinking about it. But let that's not what this is about. Let's go yeah. to some questions. We, we take deep dives into each other's psyche as well. If, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I think if I could hear what women think, it, it would make a lot of things a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> would it, though? Uh, and they'd be going like, as, wow, I really don't like this guy. And I'd be like, I can change her. <laughs> as, uh, as the Mel Gibson classic has shown us, uh, it's very burdensome. And then in, in the so end, burdensome. it turns out that it's better to not know. Right. I would never well, want to know. I'd fucking blow my brains out. How awful would it be for you to be sleeping with a woman and she's giving the facade of having a good time and internally is like, this is boring. I mean, I would tell everyone immediately that I could hear their thoughts. How do you not? I'm not- pretty getting so defensive. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. Why would you think that about me? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have a superpower because I was struck by lightning. Mm. And instead of and killed top. like everyone else, <laughs> I got a weird... I've been cursed. <laughs> I've been cursed. Yeah. I've With wished two I consciousness. was dead. <laughs> Yeah. I'm conscious on two levels. <laughs> um, okay. If you are given a trillion dollars, but you can only buy one thing... What do you buy? A trillion dollars? What cost? Oh what one thing costs a trillion? A house? I buy Iran. A trillion I ran. Israel. I was gonna. I was gonna say buy a fucking. 
Oh, first I was thinking like just build a insane palatial estate on a incredible amount of land. But then I was thinking just buy a fucking island. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome. You could buy a country with a trillion dollars. The problem is, is that if you bought an island, then that's your purchase and you then have to take from your own pool of money to make your house. Do you know what I mean? Because if what you can if, only buy I, one thing. You what if can't. I buy an already existing island that already has the infrastructure? <laughs> I, heard I just Johnny know that Depp's house island is, mine. is for sale. <laughs> For how is it? Much? <laughs> Probably. He's he's hemorrhaging money with all of these frivolous lawsuits. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Depp's are like, they you, frivolous you could... or are they justice? I think he and her are equal pieces of trash that were both beating each other physically and emotionally. Nice. I love that. Yeah. That's that's, that's my style. <laughs> oh, in you mean relationship? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You could buy Johnny Depp's uh, island for, I don't know. How much is it? Can we look it up? I'd, like I'd to buy, buy Neverland island. Ranch. Uh, I mean, should... you can get that for less than a trill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might be able to get it for a song now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should buy Neverland Ranch and have our own little, like, TikTok house. Dude. At oh Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Call it the Rump Ranch. <laughs> Busted Rump Ranch. Yeah, use it. Use one of our cards and have it as a tax write-off for the show. That would be pretty sweet, actually, if, if it became the Here's the Scenario ranch and we just did haunted tours through all the ghoulish <laughs> <laughs> rape rooms welcome to the neverland ranch haunted tour yeah. <laughs> press this button and all of a sudden you'll be swung into a kid's playroom that's <laughs> holy that's shit <laughs> do you know that do you know that uh his island is johnny depp's island is only 3.6 million dollars Wow, I mean that can't it's, be stable then. It's a well, it's only it's only forty five acres, and he 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 calls it "fuck off island," nice. explaining how he intends to for it to remain private. Uh huh, that's cool. I call it "fuck off island." Doesn't, doesn't he, have an accent, but he no. does kind of uh, have an accent though, doesn't he? He's like he like fakes a British accent. He's 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 a mumble rapper that got, talks. He's got a little bit down here. Where it's no, like, you're just doing just like Keith like Richards. Me. He's just doing Keith Richards. Yes, in Pirates, no, that's in of, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. You're talking about... Have you seen any other Johnny Depp movies? I don't think you've seen Johnny have Depp I. speak. I have. I used to be obsessed with Johnny Depp. Like, oh, I, I can really see. made yeah, that yeah. my fucking Ugh. personality. I bet you wore fucking six long S necklaces at once. Scarves and bracelets. No, no yeah. I never liked the way he dressed, but I always was like, he's such a good actor, dude. And now it's like... What the fuck? Was like, he is a pretty good actor. Am I in hitching things. my Remember ride? Rear Window? Was he in Rear, rear Not Window? Rear Window. What's that other one that he had What's where he, he was like a writer? Gray? Oh, um, oh yeah. That Are you about to say movie. the worst movie that he's been in? No, that was a good movie where like... The Rum Diaries? No. No, I don't know what oh, okay, that is. Okay, good. Because that was awful. That was about... Uh, that was, his was like Hunter S. Kind Thompson. Of, yeah, Hunter S. Thompson. His like yeah. sequel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next question. It's it's called like back window or something. Um, okay, it's Here's about an, a window, dude. There's a fucking there's window. There's a window in, in the name, title. I'm gonna okay. figure it out. God Skylight. <laughs> <laughs> Farther. Come on. Um, okay. Next question. Secret window. Secret window. <laughs> that was a good movie. Um, you've been single for a while now, and you decide that you will go traveling overseas for a year in hope of meeting someone. Everything is paid for and booked. A week before you go, you meet the partner of your dreams. Do you stay or go? There's no chance of getting your money back from the trip. I mean, you go. You, you <laughs> fucking go. You yeah. just go, sorry, sweetheart. I'll be back in a couple of days. Days? Well, it's, no, it sounds it's like, like it's a month, a couple oh, month long yeah, excursion. Oh, yeah, yeah. But also be like, Come along, or like, hey, meet me in uh, meet me in Galway at one of the stops. That yeah. is it. That's, That's it. it. It's not That's come it. along. It's hey, on my third week or fourth week, why don't you meet me in whatever? So that gives you some time to sow your oats. You know, plunder through Europe. Yeah. And if you meet somebody, you cancel her. And then if you don't. You look forward to the fact that you're going to sp spend a romantic week in Europe with your chick. <laughs> I love that you say you cancel her. It's like, yeah, yeah you you're like, all, you're you me release, too'd. Yeah, you're you out. release a bunch of recordings. Uh, yeah. and you get her fired. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, taking revenge porn at some point, and you just 
<laughs> put that out there. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to do it. Because it's like, you got to go on the trip. If you were like, I canceled my whole whole trip for you, she'd be like, ew, why? Right. That sucks. Well, that's like, that's like when people try to get cute with me, which is why I had to start talking about like how Nicole and I have dated other people. But uh-huh. they're like, oh, so you like met in middle school and now you're married to the girl you met in middle school. And it's like, yeah, we've each like lived life, you dumb fuck. Like, it's not like we're psychotic and have never... <laughs> yeah. never exited our little bubble it's like we've yeah, each yeah. we've each gone out there and seen what the world has to offer well that's always the follow-up question like if i'm why were why were both of you smiling when i said get cute <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't think Somebody. i was coming if you didn't think i was coming back to that you're out of your mind I it's just so successfully funny. just no. dodged out of that <laughs> you'll never beat me <laughs> he never beat me. <laughs> so, I was like, I guess he's just put moving past it because he's on a full fledged point. And then yeah. He's just, yeah, yeah. And no, by the I've, way, I've gotten so good at being angry that I just shelf anger to then bring to the front after my point is done. <laughs> I just thought it was. I think we both thought it was funny that you were like, when people try to get cute with me, yeah, yeah you're like Dirty Harry. <laughs> so every once in a while. That is fun though that I have an assembly line of rage that is like Yeah, it's just Charlie Chaplin in the gears. That's so funny. But yeah, that is the follow-up question after you talk to somebody who who's been like, Yeah, I've been dating I've been I'm married to the person I met in middle school. My follow-up question is like it's always like, well, was it off and on? Like, where did you guys get around or anything like that? You know, get when they around, say, when they round, say round, no, get around, I, I get, get around, around, get around, 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 I get around, I get around. Nothing worse than trying to harmonize over Zoom, huh? We're all just By three five non-musicians. seconds off. <laughs> Everybody's just second off. Um, yeah, okay. I think we could all convoy on that last one, right? <laughs> Okay, here's the next one. How would you describe the color blue to a blind man? Is this my joke? Is um, this your joke? Yeah, I said I had the, uh, my album about uh, being friends with the blind guy, trying to describe the color yellow. <laughs> All right, we'll do it with blue. Well, that's kind of it's kind of the joke is that it doesn't <laughs> can't really do it as much, you know. No, but do I the would bit. say do the blue. Bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is this, this New York City. If you can survive here, you can survive anywhere. Um, I, <laughs> the blue, though, I would say, you know, blue is actually a much easier one to describe because I would go, um, you know, it's 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 the color of sky. It's calming and it's the color of the ocean. We also associate it, you know. Uh, with a tranquil, with early morning, with uh, a lot of people associated with sadness, but there's also I like something it. It's like my favorite color. I have a question about it. I have a question. Do blind people do do they see different shades of like black? Or whatever in their eyelids. You know what I mean? Like when we're outside and we kind of like look towards the sun with our eyes closed and it kind of you get the solar flare a little bit and then it kind of, you know, moves across your eyes. Mm -hmm. Do You know what I'm talking about? Do blind people get that or they're just fucking dead dark? I think there's different levels of blind. I think. Well, of course there is. Right. But I'm talking Uh, about like, you know, blind born born blind. I don't know that there is. Yeah, born blind, I think it's probably just dark. And then every once in a while, like the darkness is kind of like a a little bit of a, of a light. Like if the sun hits the darkness, it's like it's, right. it's a little bit lighter. Oh, so it's like it's like your head. I just I just thought of uh, it's almost all dark. And then sometimes uh, there's light. Yeah, it's what's going on in my brain. Yeah, there, there you go. go. I just thought of a great a great action movie. Jason born blind. And then he's just like, he loses his sight now. He's got to fucking kung fu his way out of it until the government gives him his sight back. It's yeah, just him fighting awesome. lamps for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's got to <laughs> fight his way back to sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He falls off of a curb and breaks his ankle. And they're yeah, like, movie who is over. That? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? <laughs> That's Jason. And Blue all of a sudden, they would cut to like a very dramatic moment of him in like a telephone booth being like, I remember, I remember everything. And then they're like, 
<laughs> Whoa, he's coming yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jason Bourne against his greatest enemy yet. And then a the- raised curb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the, the scene of him at the payphone. He's like, I remember everything. And then the person on the other end is like, sir, I think you dialed one of the numbers wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Please don't. This is a this is a Quiznos. <laughs> Bell peppers. Yeah. Uh, Cannon, how would you describe blue? Um, I'd be like, you know, that pit in your stomach that you feel after something ultimately sad and depressing. It's that, but in sight. But yeah. but our Earth is covered in it. <laughs> That's just the reflection, duh. Depends on the, the blue. Atmosphere. I would say sometimes it's it feels light and it's and it's nice and, and sometimes <laughs> yeah, it's blue dark. light is uh, scientifically proven to keep people awake. That's why they tell people not to go on their phones in bed before bed and stuff like that. Because blue, the blue of blue lights is like it's like some weird thing. So why don't they change the light that co- is coming out of our? They phones? do. They have Be- you have the option on your phone to switch it to like that night time mode where everything's like a little yellowy. Do you notice that? It was like it turns yeah. to like those warm tones. You can set that up on your phone and it absolutely makes a huge difference. Well, and also the the phone people wanting you to be off their your phone is like <laughs> or trying to get you healthy and not sleep is like tobacco putting a surgeon general's warning because they think that's actually going to get you to stop smoking. Yeah, it's not, yeah. They they have no interest in getting you off the phone or asleep. Exactly. They have that just to placate people. Mm. And also, I think to cover their own ass for when they eventually get, you know, some sort of their their under- <laughs> tribunal, and we all yeah, hang. Yeah, <laughs> we just yeah. fucking lop the heads off of all the social media heads. <laughs> yeah, as as we as they stand there with the noose around their neck, where they're like, "But we put in the the yellow light." <laughs> <laughs> It started Uh, off as a thing we could do to connect. (laughs) All right, here's another one. A building is on fire. Einstein and a baby are inside. Who would you save? (laughs) Einstein and a baby. The Uh, baby. The old tale tale as old as time. The baby. It depends if Einstein. Maybe even Einstein. That baby could be a piece of shit. (laughs) Yeah, but if that if Einstein has already created, it depends where in Einstein's life. If his stuff has already been created or and like his inventions already out there, then peace. But if it's like he's this the day that he invents, you know, the theory of relativity or whatever, then we're like, sorry, baby. Got to do this one for mankind and science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just Einstein with the Doc Brown band-aids on his head. He hit his, <laughs> he hit it on Depends. the toilet, and he's like, yeah. "I just came up with the flux capacitor." <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how old he is, too. Like, if I'm getting him out of a building, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you know, let's go, and he's just slow, slow old guy walking out. I might just be like, "Fuck off," and just grab the baby by the fucking <laughs> back of the neck. Like a, that like baby's a Hitler, though. Baby Hitler. <laughs> That's a question. Who do you save? But then, old is it a question? Or baby uh, Hitler. <laughs> well, it is in the sense that Brendan could <laughs> save Baby Hitler and then make a point in staying connected with that baby post rescue, and then once that baby is old enough to comprehend, be like, "I'm a Jew." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or and he, has he a, goes, "I've been lied to, and I'm mad about it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what should I or, do with all this rage? Yeah, it just makes him get there quicker. Yeah, he, he doesn't yeah. even try. He's painting. at nineteen. <laughs> He's doing it at nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a much more early and energetic Hitler. Yeah, <laughs> a worse, worse. He's got more energy. Uh, yeah, or or it completely changes everything. But he still has that homicidal rage in him where he kills every. Everyone who doesn't look like a fat white, you know, yeah. Me oh, it turns. Guy. It turns. So you're all of a sudden the perfect specimen to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, blue I eyes, saw, I, blonde hair. I saw it when Th- I was tunics. a baby. Yes, it's 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 very voluptuous boy. That is the, that is the master <laughs> race. Boy. <laughs> voluptuous boy, voluptuous boy. Voluptuous <laughs> boy. I already know. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> if you had to choose... Oh, hold on. Uh, Sagalo, did you tell Feedy? Because, uh, Feedy, I was... You know, Sagalo said uh, 
got whatever commented on on Instagram about somebody being like, well, that was funny until the goodbye Jews thing. It was a story that he oh, told on yeah, Irish. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brendan wrote, he was like, I'm Jewish. And Rosebud, right. I guess he talked to her and she's like, that's so funny. What a good response. And, and Brendan's like, I am. And Rosebud laughed because she obviously had no clue. Yeah. And then I said to Brendan, when he's retelling me the story, I'm like, I mean, you kind of are like you're you're not in the I mean, religion. Like, hold oh, on, yeah, yeah, let yeah, me retell yeah. oh, the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, your mother's not Jewish. And he's like, he's like, yeah, you're right. But, you know, I told my dad once that, you know, I'm actually not Jewish. And he goes, you're a Jew. <laughs> he just <Yeah. laughs> demanded that my Brendan dad, my dad got real, real aggro about it. My dad was like, you're a Jew. <laughs> he, he, he's he really wants me to, you know, you were find your roots. You, you, you celebrated Christmas. You never got. Uh, uh, you know the the bris or any other sort of nope. uh, Jewish rite of passage. I don't. Yeah. Have you ever even been in a temple? Wait, yeah. you're wearing a turtleneck? No, no. no you you got, got circumcised, but he didn't get the bris. Uh, oh, oh, oh! You were just cold hospital cut. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's better. I'm sure they didn't try to suck you clean afterwards. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would have been cool. That would have been much cooler. <laughs> then you could say, I already have been blown. I got my first blowjob day yeah, three uh, of life. Guys, I am Jewish. I was blown by a <laughs> rabbi. <laughs> 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 um, what made it weird about that other person commenting that thing by the way is she just was the a comic that, yeah that's what makes it very that's fucking strange weird dude well how and, was it the other stuff racist <laughs> it was like if you have a problem with one you gotta have a problem with the whole thing i don't think it was bad it's, at all. it's it's not it's not bad i'm just saying if you have a problem with one yeah it seems pretty odd to not you know who gives a shit? We've talked yeah. about it ad nauseum before. Next yeah, yeah, question. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you had to choose to either change sex or change race, which would you choose to change and why? Sex or race? I guess. Race. Why? And what 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 race would you choose? Um, I would choose any but this. But uh, and it's only career wise. It has nothing to do with like obvious oh, social you know, injustice. Eth- ethnically ambiguous would be great. That would be that would be, be that would be great. I'm just like, you know, I'm I'm very I'm V white. I could kind of pass as like if my name was Amir, I feel like I could I could play a little Middle Eastern, but only in the summer when I'm slightly tan. What happened? <laughs> what happened? No, I'm asking you what happened. What? Where did you, you walk did you away? Leave? Plug my fucking computer in. It's crazy to me. Relax. That that's not <laughs> fucking relax, something you take dude. care of before the show. Relax. You see your computer on 36%. Christ. You're like, I have a solid 28 minutes. We were already fucking going when I when I noticed. And, and it was like, either way, I'm fucking... I'm getting relax. shit on for it. <laughs> fucking relax. Do you know, know one way you're not way. getting shit on? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Feeny. <laughs> Shut up. Get over it. Oh. I don't even know if this is going to work. The fucking... The only thing bad about this hotel is that the... There you go. Okay, good. Is and we're back. Lot? And and I'm back. There you go. The, the, the what? The, the outlets are in such weird places where it's like, I put the fucking... The the large square in and it's like half out because it's so heavy because it's up against a, a wall like floating. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. What do we got? Okay. I would you change. guys have to yeah, you guys also have to answer that question. Oh, I would I would pick the I would pick race. that same one and like I said, go ethnically ambiguous. That's that's the You'd go full Pete Davidson. No, I want to yeah, I up. don't really think he's ethnically ambiguous as much. So he's he's almost I would go like a couple shades, a couple shades, uh, shades of gray, tanner. like that, uh, like Mediterranean, you know, like a nice, right. like olive skin. Yeah. Like Erica is like, and nobody ever can get, they go Italian. Then in the summer, they're like Dominican. Like they, mm. they go everywhere. Like she gets, she gets Egyptian. She gets uh, like Middle Eastern. She gets everything people ask of her. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty, she's probably all of that anyway. Like if you did the twenty three and me, yeah. I'm she sure. did do that, and because she does Nicole have is some. like, mid, she's super Italian, but she's got like a ton of Middle Eastern Sephardic Jew in there. You know, she's like, she's yeah. all over the map. She loves olives. 
<laughs> All of the map. <laughs> I think I would change my race to like hope like that, like the Mediterranean, like Hawaiian would be really kind of cool. You, you just know? want to be in Moana, the live play. I would yeah. love that's to also be Moana. not even close to the Mediterranean, but I, I you're like, you know, I would <laughs> like to be in the Mediterranean, you know, Hawaii, something like that. I'd be I would just like love literally to the be other side of the planet. A Greek Hawaiian. <laughs> a Greek like, yeah. So, yeah, something Greek like the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Hawaiian would be fucking cool. Get all those gnarly tattoos and shit and just be Maui, <laughs> you know, or the rock. <laughs> you Everything should, get, you you should get one of the stick and poke tats. Uh, oh, those sound like hell. I've Awful. wanted to. I, I want to get one of those, but they seem like so painful and they're hours and hours long. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next yeah. question. <laughs> uh, you invent a food product where you mix together equal amounts of butter, and I can't believe it's not butter. What do you name it? <laughs> um, Feeny muted himself. <laughs> I know. I asked him to unmute. Well, I'm, I'm, I have things going on here, so I muted it for a reason to not <laughs> ruin the integrity of the show. So, <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. Do we have to point um, everything out? <laughs> you did too, Brendan. I know. No, I know, Brendan. I, he I'm muted his mic too. and stayed in frame. You took a walk around the neighborhood <laughs> and then came back. Um, I would. Uh, if, if it's butter, and I can't believe it's that butter, isn't that margarine? <laughs> That have would a be, lot of that's the crop. name of the product. Isn't that margarine? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep, that's my answer. That's my convoy. I'm yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> can't get better than that. What an awful question. <laughs> that's a bad question. Um, all right, you're walking in a forest. and Okay, we did this already. Um, oh, we've done a lot of these already. If you, if you have the power... Oh, fuck. It's like some of these are just a little off of things that we've done. Like, if you had the power to change an event in the past, what would it be? Yeah, that's something that we've done a bunch, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, other, the other version of that was, if you could change the past, what would you do? Okay, yeah. Here's a, <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's literally Here, here's a better one. Here's question. a better one. Uh, would you rather correct a mistake from the past or receive an answer from the future? What do you think? Uh, receive an answer from the future. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I was thinking about this uh, yesterday. I was no, showing no Brendan regrets. when we were driving. I think we were driving back from Atlantic City. I don't know if you have this, Feeney, but I'm uh, every once in a while I get into affirmations, but I don't remember them or even practice them. I actually just have them pop up on my calendar and then I just angrily swipe them away and forget the entire message. <laughs> yeah. but, but Brendan saw that it was uh, I had one that was like, dude, have fun. <laughs> and then the other one was just, please enjoy yourself today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just watched me like just dismiss them immediately <laughs> through gritted teeth and a COVID vaccine. And he was like, well, those seem to be working. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I never have. Uh, I, I've never put this, especially in my, you put them in your calendar. You're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Fun. I mean, we all have little like things that. Like, they really I, I mean something to me. They really mean something to me when I first put them in. But then well, I think like, that's what it's for then, right? Like, yeah, but like everything, it should kind of... Uh, I was hoping that it would like trigger me back to the place I was when I put it in. Like I, I actually... I, I wrote this in a notebook. This is how mentally ill I am, right? I, I forget what day it was. I think it was actually like right after my special came out or I had done all this work and I like I accomplished something in the sense that I created and put out something. And I just wrote the date and I said, remember, you were happy today. <laughs> and I wrote that in the back of my notebook. And the other day I'm like flipping through it and I saw that and I was like, that guy is such a fucking loser. <laughs> uh, oh, I like that guy. That's like the shit that I write in like my my journals. Like I had like I have like a I have like a my notebook that was four jokes, and then I just started journaling in it, and I'm, I like went back to read it, and I was like, this guy was in a lot of pain. <laughs> I was through it, I'm like, wow, dude, wow. I feel like Brendan j started turning all of his joke books into journals after watching the Shanling, the Shanling doc, so he could, <laughs> so yeah. he could be like, hey guys, just you know, in case you want to read all my work at some for point sure. and unearth yeah. it yeah. later for on. Sure. If, if you want a better understanding for the uh, ravenous mm -hmm. pain I'm going through on a day to day <laughs> basis. Yeah. 
yes. you guys could check which these I've out. I've written in the journal. I'm like in the journal. I'm like, is this a facade? Is this whole thing I'm doing is like, is it like a narcissistic facade? You know, Partly, I'm going yes. through my own fucking demons here, guys, and you just can't make laugh through it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can and we will. <laughs> <laughs> it's All weird right. for me because with journals, sometimes it'll be like it's different when I guess where it's like joke books where you just kind of free write and stuff. But with like journals, I'm like you know a part of me once i get if i done with it and i haven't really journaled a lot in my life but there was like a period where i just was like journal doing it every day and then once i fill it up i'm like i guess i'll hold on to this for the rest of my life and then at some point read it again like it seems like one of those things where it would be best if you wrote everything down like an angry like letter that you're writing and then at the end you just burned the book at, yeah. at the end of some it. people do do that as like yeah. a ceremony. However, <clears throat> there is value in going back and reading the type of pain you were in yeah. and then kind of gauging where you're currently at because, you know, Brendan's constant life is a suicide note. So I bet he's probably thought he's in a similar place, but then he reads that and he's like, oh, I'm less killy of myself <laughs> than I was. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, as I was reading it, I was like, uh, I, it was that feeling of like, oh, I don't feel that way anymore. And I'm like, wow, this is so crazy. And it, the, the more specific you, you get with where your life is now, it's like it's it is kind of like a, a time capsule. I'm just reading it and I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, I remember that chick. I remember this that dude and i remember when this happened here or that time that i got upset about this <laughs> i mean know? isn't it hilarious that you like looked at that from three months ago and you're having these major life shifts where you're like oh i don't think that anymore wow that's crazy yeah. i said that and then people are taking stuff from 10 years ago and being like so this is your current state of mind eh?" and yeah. it's like i don't know it could have been a split second of me being an asshole and i have just no memory or or yeah. real stake yeah, in what yeah, I said yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, I think I that's also something. another weird thing about the journal. It's like when to go back and read it. Like I know people that are like, oh, I right before I journal this day, I, I read yesterday's and other people are like I wait well, three years and then and then reread it. And you're like, all of it's such a weird. There's no there's no personal time. taste. Yeah. Yeah. It's like sometimes like what why I reread it was I was just flipping through the pages and I just stopped and I just started reading it. And I was like, well, oh, OK, this guy you, needs a fucking Zoloft. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I, I so this is similar where like if I so right before I started doing the Peloton um, new sponsor, but uh, I I took like a picture of my shitty body and I promised myself that I wasn't going to look at it. I'd try to forget it as best as possible. And then like at, now I'm at like eight weeks of doing it and I took another picture and now I have uh, I have compared and contrast and I feel good about it but nice. if i was like going through every single day and like lifting my stomach and looking at the picture of like four days ago to a week ago <laughs> to two weeks ago or whatever it was it's like watching something grow up in front of you you have no you have no gauge for the growth yeah right. yeah <clears throat> hmm. i was thinking about pelotons yesterday i was like everybody's getting them now yeah, you're, I mean, you if got you got one. an extra 2500 by all means well i didn't wow get one. and then the monthly subscription yeah, but I think that's like 10 bucks. But but it's like 50. Here's the thing. I it's not mine. It's my mother-in-law's. I I don't think I'm not in the position to get one of those, but I think after using it this much, I would do it because I don't feel the need to go to the gym at all. It's like it's a full body thing for the most mm -hmm. part and it's uh, you know, I don't know. I don't need to be big anymore, you know. I'm just a yeah. biker. Sipping a latte on the side of the road wearing a tied onesie. Every once in a while you're down here. Every <laughs> once in a while you're over yep, here. Yep, yep. <laughs> no hands, just showing the world that I have control of my bicicleta. <laughs> bicicleta. <laughs> uh, I think we got time for one or two more questions. We do, but thank you everybody for listening. Thank you. Uh, pass the word around. This is a completely word of mouth pod. We have the social media, so follow us there. Everything can be found at here's a scenario dot com. Also, Write if a you review. love write a review that's huge that's for us huge. we're trying to get that rolling you guys know us from our other podcast irish goodbye brendan had garbage days we do you know we're we're all over the map we're everywhere but we need your support just to launch this show even uh even
even further in its early stages. So we also have the Patreon, patreon.com slash scenario pod. Again, we do an additional episode exactly like this with with hypotheticals every single week. It actually comes out on the same day on Wednesdays. And then Fridays, we have a, a show called Blunts with the Boys, where it's the three of us extremely high, just kind of stream of consciousness, going through the Internet, talking, having a loose, fun time. I do a solo podcast up there, not every single week, but as much as humanly possible. Sagalo and Feeney put up their sketches early, and uh, I, um, you know, I put up a bunch of stand up and all that stuff as well. Can I yeah. just read some random reviews on our thing? Because there's yes. way more reviews than I expected. Sure. We're also uh, we're also just I guess is like a, we're gonna watch uh, Kong vs Zilla. Oh we're yeah, do a little watch Kong along with that Zilla. on on the, on the yeah we're watching old KK vs ZZ or whatever <laughs> ZZ uh, on the on the Patreon. So get on it, man. <laughs> Feedy's face was so disgusted. I know. Whatever. <laughs> it's just G. Um. So uh, GZ. Uh, no, Godzilla is one word. GDZ is what I would put on a license plate if I were to be shortening Godzilla. Oh, really? Yeah. Crazy. What? It would be GDZLA. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. So you just added more. <laughs> yes, but I took away from the original word. Because GDZ, people would be like, goods and yeah, services. Gods. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. whatever. It's not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jess1133 said, so happy to see that more people will get to enjoy this amazing podcast. Love the Patreon. Can't wait for the world to hear. Uh, keep up the great work. You deserve all the success, which I love Thank to you, see Jess. that. Um, let's see. We got uh, and a lot of just very nice things. Best of the best. You love a good title. Uh, Brendan, Mike, and Mike are the greatest trio in comedy. As a Patreon subscriber, I couldn't be more excited for them to be joining the laugh button. They're the highlight of my week every single week. Uh, between all the content they put out together and their individual projects, you can't beat it. That's from Sarah Hagen. Wow. Hela. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Sarah's these are really Sarah's great. And um, I, uh, I'm a Patreon member and these guys have helped me survive the quarantine almost literally. They're so funny and talented and genuine. Listen to them before, quick before they blow up. People have been saying that for years, but thank you. People have been saying that for years. Uh, let's, let's just do a whole podcast reading positive stuff about ourselves because yeah. I feel good for the first time in weeks. I could really I love use this. this. Um, Canon and Feeney are so funny and genuine. Love everything they do. Irish goodbye. Patreon, Instagram, their specials, and seeing their live stand up. Adding Sagalo into the mix makes for a hysterical trio. Also, love Feeney and Sagalo's weekly sketches. So, look at that. Ooh. Everybody's very great. Brendan was about to get pissed. I know. That's why I purposely slowed down the first part so that he would have to be like, <laughs> The fuck is this have- bullshit? I've actually read all of these reviews. So, I. <laughs> I, I know it Oof. already. So, oh, you don't man. read the. You guys aren't invested in this. Of course, we're invested in this. Yeah, we don't walk just, away from the show while it's recording. But we yeah, but you're looking at your stupid. Yeah, we don't go to. We don't go to CVS to buy reviews. a fucking uh, Capri Sun in the middle of the show. <laughs> I wish. I wish I went to the store to get some fucking Skittles and got shot before coming back here. <laughs> Whoops! <The> free episode. <laughs> wow. The free. <laughs> Episode. Here's the last one. The best trip. I will literally listen to anything you guys are a part of. The dynamic never gets old. It makes my miserable nine to five bearable. So thanks, boys. Well, thank That's you. That's what all we're doing for it for. Reviews. That's what we're doing it for. Hoping to, you know, hoping to help you guys through your day. You know, it's the same for us. We uh, we survive off of being able to do this show for you guys. It's so much fun, and uh, you know, the support on the Patreon and on here and on social media and all that stuff is literally everything to us. So we appreciate you right back and. And uh, let's do a few more questions. Yes. Here we go. Uh, would you rather watch your parents have sex or have sex in front of your parents? Ooh, I was going to say we've done this before, but that's a different one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm thinking. I've never been walked in on. Uh, I've yeah. never been walked in on either, yeah, but I think I would rather have them watch me have sex because I don't want to watch them have sex, but it's like, you know, if they're watching, you could be like, all right, like I could focus on her. <laughs> Aren't you could proud you? of your baby boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah there is kind of what you too. created. Look what he's laying down. Yeah, I would finish before they both walked in. <laughs> yeah, look, look, mom, I'm a feminist. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's like, my little boy makes them come first. That a boy, Brendan, just like I taught you. 
Oh. <laughs> Just like I taught you on me. <laughs> <laughs> Some parents teach their boy how to ride a bike. I taught my boy how to, how to ride his mom. To- <laughs> <laughs> How to ride a how to ride a dike. I knew you were gonna ruin it. I knew it. I that knew ruined it. it. That, that ruined, ruined it. it. Oh man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna I like, do? Brendan's background also as he moves flickers in the background like an alien thing, and I'm like getting Dude. a see se- we should put a seizure warning at the front of this episode. Imagine <laughs> Brendan isn't in a hotel at all in Boston. He just made up this entire movie experience and just green screened a hotel in his own room. The background the background <laughs> flickers and you see my apartment and you're like, wait, yeah. wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, did you yeah. make up that you're in an indie? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. wiz- I'm like in the Wizard of Oz. I'm like, what? No, don't pay attention to <laughs> pay the no at- pay no attention to that man behind the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> we got rhyme for one more. We got rhyme for Ray Road. All right. So this original question is about Brad and Angelina, but I'm just changing it to make it actually hard. Is if you were if if a guy was holding a gun. And it was about to kill Leonardo DiCaprio or Eminem. <laughs> uh, but he asked you to save one of the two. Who would it be? I'd save Leo. Leo? Leo? Yeah, I'd have him put I, 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 it wasn't six even a in hesitant. Marshall's head. <laughs> but Eminem's got kids, man. They're they're done. Well, Leo's they're, they're definitely grown. got some kids out there, but that's yeah. also Leo. Leo, Leo has kids to fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, it seems like Eminem, like that would only help his lore. Right. Yeah, if he were really to get shot his... as a rapper, it's like that's the real only ending of a good, like you know, of a greatest of all time rapper. Yeah. It is yeah. going to be funny to watch Eminem be sixty years old and like come out with a diss track. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. I'm like Miley Cyrus's son, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who's named Cactus or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cactus Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cactus Cyrus. <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> Eminem's rhyming things with hemorrhoid donut. He's like, get in off my hemorrhoid donut. <laughs> Flow nuts. So what? <laughs> so what? My low nuts hit the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be oh. on the lookout for Brendan's next EP. He's What's definitely genuinely rapping these days. So it's wait, wait, why do you say that? You were so nice about it when I sent you the. the I know the song, but I are you not genuinely rapping? I am. Yeah, sure. And is Still that can't not think a of laughable a name, fun though. thing? That is. It is fun. I'm just. I'm just. What a, was the terrible I'm name big you wound. said you were going to use for a bit there? I don't I don't remember the terrible name. I said yeah. I remember Cannon came up with a name that I thought was good that I think you guys said was terrible was uh Street Fred. <laughs> Which I thought Fred? was really, Yeah, Fred. like Street Cred, but Fred. Oh, I get it. Uh, but what was there was I think I one. said Street Bread cuz that makes yeah. more sense <laughs> considering you're I made up of it. I thought you said something too about like something uh, some play on Sagalo or something where you were like <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I remember being, you were like, like Kit sad. Cagalo or something like something oh, crazy. No. What? Yeah, what? It was, Kit it was, Cagalo? <laughs> yeah, I could see that. So That's so definitely awful. Brendan's idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kid I'm Kit Cagalo. Kid Cagalo. Pants Kit Cagalo. Kit Cagalo, Cagalo coming in with the flagalo. <laughs> <laughs> Got my mag hello. Got my yeah. mag hello. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, everybody. everybody. Thanks oh. for listening. Wow. We love you. See you next week, guys. Bye. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. 